booktube this is brecky from brecky writes and this is brecky reads this is my book buddyathon wrap-up video book buddyathon was started by elena of elena reads and sam from cold tea and crumbs and ran from last saturday may 8th until this past friday may 13th and so for book buddyathon i had two buddies that i read with denise from denise marie and my friend caitlin who is not on booktube but is very active on twitter and i will leave all their info in the description in case you're curious of checking their stuff out the idea was to read five different books with five different challenges but i definitely didn't do that and didn't plan to i was going to try to read three books two with my buddies and one that we all each read independently and then came back and chatted about. Basically that didn't happen. It didn't happen at all. So I sort of failed at my challenge but I did get through one of the books on my original TBR and that was Boy Snowbird by Helen Oyemi. This is the first book that all three of us read. This was for the first challenge which is read a book together with your buddy and I think what ended up happening is I was in a terrible book slump after this. Boy Snowbird is purported to be a fairy tale retelling of Snow White in 1950s America that deals a lot with race. The main character, Boy Novak, marries a guy who is actually African American but is very light skinned and passes as white and she doesn't know this until she gives birth to Bird who is a dark skinned African American girl and that's when she knows, oh hey, this is going to be a problem and Snow is his daughter from a previous marriage who also can pass as white. I think that there was so much potential for this to be an awesome book but ultimately it just did not deliver for me. One, the fairy tale aspect is like pointless. It, it shouldn't even be included. There are other fairy tale pieces in here they could have played with more that have to do with like the snake and I don't even know why this was billed as a, a Snow White retelling because ultimately it doesn't do anything to help the story and I think it sends the wrong message to readers picking it up. I was expecting a much more intentional Snow White retelling and this is only like very skeletal in the Snow White pieces. There is a huge twist at the end, not even a twist, this like weird info bomb that you get that I think d isn't dealt with very well, having to do with gender and sexuality that I think was added at the end for no good reason. I just, this I did not love and I wanted to love it. I expected to give this five out of five stars and instead I gave it three out of five stars because some of the writing is really great but the characters are unsympathetic, it's jumbled without a good reason for it being jumbled. This just put me off, if I'm gonna be honest. This book just really put me off. So I was supposed to pick up Fallen Kingdoms, which we were all going to read together, and I was not in the mood for that. I wasn't in the mood for a new book and new characters. So one of the habits I have when I feel like a bunk slump is coming or I've been really disappointed in something I've read is to go back and reread something I love. I'm a great rereader of books. Not everybody on booktube does reread books, but I love rereading. I think that rereading a book is a sign that the author has done something really marvelous because you want to revisit the characters and you want to revisit the world. So I decided to go back and reread Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness. Now I read this last summer and loved this whole trilogy. I thought it was fantastic. This is a paranormal romance kind of but it's very smart. It's an adult fiction book and the main characters are a witch named Diana Bishop who is also a historian and like teaches at Yale so she's very smart, very thoughtful, very modern and then a vampire named Matthew DeClaire and he is a professor of biology and a researcher of genetics at Oxford. I just love this trilogy. I think it's great and I love these characters and I just love their interactions and I just love this world. So I picked this up thinking I would read a couple of chapters to kind of help me get over the disappointment that was Boy Snow Bird because I just expected to love it and didn't love it and I ended up reading all of this and this has like navy blue see this whole background is navy blue and then all down here there's black and so I decided okay maybe I'll just trade this one out for Against the Darkening Sky which was supposed to be the book that I read based on my buddy's favorite colors. Denise Marie's favorite color is navy blue and Caitlin's is black so I was like okay well I can give this as an excuse this can be my second book and then I'll pick up Fallen Kingdoms. That didn't happen. So the third book that I finished I did finish this in the wee hours of Saturday morning but the third book that I finished was Shadow of Night by Deborah Harkness and this is the sequel to A Discovery of Witches the second in the trilogy and I loved this this is about them traveling back in time to the Elizabethan era and I just thought this was as delightful to read the second time as it was the first time even though I knew what was happening and I knew who all the villains were and I know what was going on I was still wrapped up in the story I still didn't want to put it down and that to me is like if you can do that when someone is rereading a book and they know what's going to happen and they can still be caught up in the story then I think you've told a masterful tale so basically I read this one and didn't read Fallen Kingdoms which I was supposed to so I did read three books but I did not read the right three books, so... <laughs>
So that was my book buddy-a-thon. I only actually read one book with my buddy and one book on my TBR because uh, Boy Snowbird put me in such a slump. I don't know. I either won or failed epically. I'm not really sure. And that's okay. I might have to take a break from some read-a-thons for a while, but that's all right. If you participated in book buddy-a-thon, what was the best book that you read? I mean, definitely Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness, which is my favorite of the trilogy and just sets up such wonderful characters I love. And if you haven't read it, you should really check it out. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you're all doing well and I will talk to you later. Bye.